Alvao is a user-friendly IT service management tool that helps drive efficient IT operations. Let's explore its different features. This is what the end-user portal looks like. You can customize it with your company logo, brand, or cover picture. When a user has an issue, they can go to the portal and search for a solution in the search bar. By just typing in the keyword. Here, one can find knowledge articles that describe the solution, previous tickets, and services related to it. One can also use these quick access buttons. For example, the service catalog contains all services from all the functions in the organization. Let's say the user wants a higher level mobile package. Instead of searching from the catalog, she just clicks on the SIM card listed under the My Assets section. Here, she will find all the services related to it and all the necessary details including PIN, PUC, and the current mobile package. By choosing the Change Package service, Alvao provides a custom form including the item and suggests relevant articles based on the service. This encourages self-service, freeing up the IT team for more demanding issues. The user selects the mobile package and sends the request. Once the ticket is submitted it is auto-routed to the IT team. Now let's see what the agent interface looks like. The dashboard provides a consolidated view of all submitted tickets. The agent can customize the page and easily sort tickets according to various services, status queues, etc. By just clicking the ticket, you can see that the ticket is now auto-assigned to the agent. The ticket contains a defined workflow that describes current and future actions that lead to resolution. You can also find the card. This feature helps the agent clarify which item the ticket is related to. The item provides quick access to the IT Asset Management Console. Here, you can quickly find all item attributes. Related tickets include all linked tickets. And as we can see the current tariff, we can move on to the next step, which is to obtain approval. After the manager approves the request, the agent can update the tariff with the provider, which will then be reflected in Asset Management. Alvao automatically logs all these steps, ensuring full transparency. Once the tariff is changed, the agent proceeds to close the ticket. The agent can add a short message to the requester. The requester will receive the message and a satisfaction survey. Moving on to Alvao Asset Management. Asset Management lets you track and manage the complete asset inventory in your organization. The tree structure follows the hierarchical division of the company. One can easily sort assets by location, departments, users, or even by the floors where they are located. By clicking on a device you can find its technical specification, as well as attributes related to the user, location, etc. Most of the attributes can be automatically retrieved from Microsoft Intune or agent-based scanning. Accessing logs provides comprehensive device history and helps track the entire life cycle of the asset, which can be useful for troubleshooting and audit purposes. User information and attributes, including their details, get automatically imported from Azure Active Directory, eliminating the need for manual data entry. To make working with attributes easier, you can sort these attributes into different views. You can also track software licenses and monitor their usage to easily identify unused licenses and allocate them as needed. Now let's look at other features. Besides the self-service portal, users can submit tickets via email, mobile app, or directly through Microsoft Teams. Let's explore the Alvao chatbot built within Microsoft Teams. You just need to type in your query. In this case, we ask for guidance on a print issue. The chatbot brings up related knowledge, base articles and ticket forms. Remember, to always check the knowledge base first. The article should direct to the right service module within the service catalog if users find a solution there. Here, the user can describe the issue and submit the ticket. Once submitted, the ticket is routed to the IT team. Alvao auto assigns the ticket to the agent. For better diagnosis and faster resolution, Alvao AI Assistance analyzes the ticket information within the system and suggests a possible solution. Since the incident is related to a printer in Veronica's office, you can add the printer to the ticket. For ease of use, click on full screen mode. You can use various communication channels and apps for ticket resolution. Need to quickly clarify something? Just start a chat with the requester via Teams. Use the to-do feature to add the ticket to your list and you can work on it later. Finding the problem too complex for a chat? 
Schedule a meeting with the team or requester and add it to your Outlook calendar. With the AI analysis feature, you can find out if this is a single looser issue or a widespread outage. This feature will do a quick search across all open tickets to find similar issues. To quickly identify the possible root cause, the agent can use the CMDB tool. You can see from the warning labels that all printers have some problems. When you click on one of the device icons, you will find its technical specification which will help to better determine the root cause. In the Related Request tab, you can find the incidents reported against that device. The visualization feature on CMDB helps to view all affected and related infrastructure and devices, which simplifies troubleshooting. Within the Related Tickets section, you can also find previous tickets related to this issue. Since we know that there are multiple tickets related to the same issue, we can relate other tickets to the parent ticket which helps efficient ticket management. Now, say the issue was fixed after a server reboot. Remember the primary goal of incident management is to restore service as soon as possible. You can select all related tickets and then resolve them at once. You can add a brief message to inform the requester that the services are restored. User feedback is always important, hence users receive a satisfaction survey as well. You can see that all tickets are resolved now. But your job as IT agent doesn't end here. If this is a recurring issue, then there's likely an underlying problem. So let's create a problem ticket. Start by filling in the basic information such as the subject and description. We need to fill in more specific details about the problem such as impact and urgency. Choose the category that will help with data analysis in the future. And we have to provide the problem management team with important details about the symptoms. Details about the diagnosis conducted. And finally, suggest a workaround. Once the ticket is submitted it is routed to the problem management team. The problem management team identifies the print server as the root cause. The server is now related to the ticket. We can see that the ticket is at the known error phase. As we've identified the root cause, we can now proceed with planning the change. First, look at the change management calendar for this week to choose the best possible time slot. It looks like no change is planned for Friday afternoon yet. You can see that all changes are planned outside of core business hours to minimize impact. It is time to plan the change. The change management form captures all required information, such as task description and plan start and finish time. You can see that the form automatically includes the related server. The risk description and level of risk will be specified, this helps prioritize and manage the change. Another important step is to provide the rollout plan. And a backup plan in case the change fails. You can also attach the technical documentation of the server as it helps during the change. In some cases, a change may require developer involvement. Use the quick access button to escalate the ticket to Azure DevOps. In this case, the operations team will handle it themselves and move on to approval. Once the change is approved, you can find it on the dedicated card or directly in the communication with the ticket. Now we can proceed to the implementation phase and release the change. Just like the change management form, we start by providing all the necessary details related to the release. Populate the start and end dates. Another important attribute is the release type. Enter the build plan. Following this, provide details on the test plan. Once the form is submitted, we can proceed to the processing stage and install the service pack on the server. After the installation has been successfully completed and tested, the agent can resolve and close the ticket. By closing it, Alvao workflow automatically closes all linked tickets to the release, so you don't have to do anything manually. Alvao not only helps you optimize your service management processes, but also provides analytics capabilities to track and improve team performance. You can choose from a variety of different reports that cover all aspects of your service desk activities. The Incident Management Dashboard, which provides important data related to incidents. The Service Management Dashboard displays metrics performance for all services. The Customer Satisfaction Report is essential for delivering a high-quality service. And you can easily identify the most frequently failing devices. Let's examine the M365 Optimization Report. 
This report makes it easy to identify users using Microsoft 365 licenses, assess current costs, and pinpoint potential areas for savings. You can even customize your own form and track metrics that are key to your business. Alvao can also help you automate repetitive tasks. You can make it happen using request templates. These templates come in handy for recurring tasks whether it's for each day, week, or month. Let's schedule a task for regular training sessions. Just click on Schedule and on the form and choose how often you want the request to repeat. For example, every three months. And that's it. A dedicated person gets a ticket each quarter so he or she doesn't miss out. You can create these templates for any services you have. On the left panel, you'll see various other options to explore. However, that's a topic for another video, on another day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like this video, check out our other tutorials and videos, or visit us at alvaro.com for more.